Eli 5 How does increasing wages contribute to worsening inflation? It depends what's driving inflation. Inflation happens when demand is high, so prices go up until the demand and price balance. 1. If inflation is driven by the cost of inelastic goods things where demand changes very little with cost changes like food, housing, energy then salary doesn't make much difference. 2. If it's elastic goods, then if people have more money to spend, the demand goes up and so does the price. Since one appears to be a large driver of inflation at the moment, increasing wages has a weak effect on inflation. Increasing wages don't cause inflation. They are in fact caused by inflation, which should be an obvious statement because wages are priced in dollars and inflation means dollars losing value. If somehow wages were prevented from rising in response to inflation, it would just mean more money in the hands of firms rather than households. There would be no deflationary effect inflation is caused by too much money chasing too few goods, whether firms or households are holding the money is irrelevant. You get paid more, costing the business you work for to either lose money or raise the cost of their goods and services. Most businesses won't or can't take a hit to their income. You make more, giving you more money to spend so you can afford more goods and services. This causes businesses to need to produce provide more which often means they need more employees to increase production or provide more services, which costs them more, so they raise the costs of their goods services. It's the other way around, inflation contributes to the increasing of wages because companies get more money to expand their businesses, which in general increases hiring, and people's cost of living goes up and those same companies eventually have to offer money to compete for workers. So the net effect of inflation is that unemployment drops but eventually, if it gets out of control. The currency collapses. Many people loads on this thread in fact claims it doesn't because they want to disassociate the two but they are very much linked. Best to ignore them as they aren't telling the whole truth. Wages go up, company costs go up, get passed on to consumer and price rises, employees asks for another raise to deal with price rises, company costs go up, company passes costs on to consumer and price rises etc. Say I pay my workers $20 hour and I need to charge my customers $100 hour to break even. Then I raise wages to $30 hour. Now I need to charge my customers more to break even, so I raise my price to $120 hour. The more things cost, the more people need to earn. The more people earn, the more businesses need to charge. You are going to get a lot of conflicting answers here. The real answer is that inflation is an incredibly complex topic, which could be caused by a multitude of reasons, and nobody has the answer of why it happens on every possible scenario. In one case, maybe wages contributed, in another maybe they did not. If people demand higher pay on the expectation of price increases, it contributes to increasing prices. This causes inflation to become sticky as large price increases, and corresponding demands for higher pay increases, become the norm. This concept is known as a wage-price spiral. It does contribute a little bit. Generally when people have more money, they can pay more, which eventually turns toward higher goods costs. But where minimum wage is increased, the nominal inflation increases nowhere near covering the benefit to wage earners. Simply, if you make more, you cost your company more, so they need to raise prices. You get paid more so you now have more income and could maybe buy more. So you raise the price of your product to get THR maximum amount of money possible. In theory it increases cost but most of the inflation we have been dealing with started with supply chain issues and then companies just continued being greedy once the supply chain issues eased, it had nothing to do with higher wages. Oversimplified. Inflation is when prices naturally go up. If people have more money they are willing to pay more for something, so a business can raise prices on items. X200B. More money higher prices more inflation. More buying power more demand. However, raising bottom level wages adds more to the economy than inflation takes away. Also, the majority of inflation experienced recently was due to price gouging. To put it simply, it increases demand. Half of the supply demand construct. If there is strong demand for a particular item used cars for instance it inflates the price. It doesn't, in general, in any significant manner. Claims otherwise are far-right corporate wealthy propaganda. Raising wages is good for everyone. 